Hello everyone and welcome to my backyard. I'm here with Camera Girl on the camera and I'm here to review the brand new, well reasonably new, Chrome Industries Zip Top Waste Pack which can be used like a fanny pack but I use it either in the front like this or on my back like this. And what I like about this waste pack, because it is a waste pack, it does use a proper buckle. Unlike the previous Mini Cadet that didn't have an open buckle, this one has this, so you can adjust it, throw on your waist, put it over your shoulder, however you want to carry it. And uh, if Camera Girl gets in a little bit close, you can see that this colorway is actually called Clear Camo. Now, for this uh, waste pack, this is now sold out but i thought it'd be neat because you can actually see what's inside here you can see my swiss army knife you can see my keys and other things so if you don't want to be able to see inside at least on the outer pack then don't get this clear camo colorway and as well this bag does come in i think three or four other colors the black chrome the regular black and that olive over dye i think maybe uh, i'm gonna get that colorway as well and uh, this is only a 2.4 liter bag but I can fit in a lot more. And if you look at the Chrome Industry specs, they give you kind of like this way and this way dimension, but they say it's only two inches. But as you can see, this is much thicker than two inches. And as I always say on these bag reviews, I always put way more in here than I typically would, but I'm just showing you how much stuff you can put in here if you want. So if I can get Camera Girl to get a little bit closer, you can see how much stuff I've packed in here. Check it out. I have the Rico GR3. The Fujifilm X-Pro3 with the Pergear 35mm prime lens and a Nikon 35Ti. All three of them across this way. So the trick to this is, is you guys know I always carry a DOP kit. Well, to fit all this in here, I have to take everything out of my DOP kit and distribute it evenly in the front zip as well as in the main compartment so it'll all fit. And so let's pull everything out and you can see what's in here. All right, so first and foremost, can you believe I can fit my X-Pro3 with the 35 1.6 per gear manual focus lens. And this is on a CUDA limited edition strap from Camera Film Photo. So thank you, Michelle, for sending this out to me. So this is my main camera. I thought I would have to carry this around my neck with this bag, but I actually didn't. But if I did carry this around my neck, then it does clear up a little bit more room. I can throw in some snacks, some chocolate bars, or gloves or something else in here because it is pretty packed out. And here is the Ricoh GR3. And then finally the Nikon 35Ti. Here we go. And just like last time, I'll take a picture of Camera Girl. All right, so Camera Girl. There you go. And this is a Clever Supply wrist strap. So you can see the main compartment now is pretty wide open. That's where I fit all three cameras. And you can see back here is that netting. And this is where I have all my DOP kit items. And I've shown this so many times before. This is just my little man leather pouch where I have like even like a little uh, tailor's tape measure in here. And just little things, toothpicks. I'm not gonna show you everything what's in there. And this is my other pouch where I keep all my cables, my ear pods, my lightning cables and stuff like that. And then here is a Swiss Army knife. Uh, sorry, this is my Leatherman. I carry two sometimes because I like the Leatherman juice because it has a really nice wrench. Although the knives are okay, where the Swiss Army knife has really nice knives in there, at least compact knives that I can carry around. So that's why sometimes I do carry two multi-tools with me. And then I always talk about my secondary wallet where I carry like my Costco card and extra cash and things that my main wallet can't hold. And then just a little, a little notepad here with the built-in little pen. And then let's go to the front pouch, which is reasonably thin-ish, but you can get some stuff in here. I have uh, my keys. I have my Sensa pen here. This is actually a really cool pen. And here is an extra uh, battery pack, but it also has Qi wireless charging in here. So if you're at a restaurant, put this down, you put your AirPods on here, put your iPhone on here, it'll start charging. And then here is my Swiss Army knife. So all of that fits inside this little 2.4 liter bag. Let me put everything back in here, close her up, grab my cameras, I'll be right back. All right, so it's all packed in. So again, Camera Girl, if you can get in close, I don't recommend to pack it this much, but Camera Girl, did I not carry this all day with you today when you were out and about? Yes, you did. 
Yeah, so it does work, but it is completely packed out. I would again recommend just maybe not having a camera like this in here. So let's just pull it out, give it a little bit more space. But again, it does fit. If in a pinch, you have to have it in here. And again, the colorway here is called clear camo, but it's now discontinued. But the other bags, because maybe this clear camo, the material is a little bit thinner, maybe you can get in a little bit more in this, and maybe the black chrome as well. And the other two colorways, the regular black, maybe there's a navy, maybe not. And then the olive color, the material might be a bit thicker and a little bit harder to get this much stuff in here, but there's no reason to be packing this much stuff in. And so again, this is the zip top waist pack, and I'm gonna carry it either again from the front, or on the back like this. And again, having this buckle is nice, but there is no bottle opener like the other ones. And so there's always some compromises for having a bag this small. So thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna just put it in the front here. Here you go. Even comes with a little pull tabs here, which is really nice. And it is a weather sealed zipper. And because this camo is kind of like a non-breathable material. It, this version is probably weather resistant slash waterproof. And the other versions is probably weather resistant, but not waterproof. And so that's it. Thanks so much for watching Camera Girl. Thank you for being Camera Girl. And we'll talk to you soon. Happy shooting. All right.